Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but new items made by Cicada here. I have added 20 new items to the shop. The intent with this mode is more of a conceptual, these items could potentially work in Dota. Not saying they should be in Dota, but I just thought I might as well uh, add some interesting ones and also fill some gaps. I've tried to balance them, but I have done no playtesting as of yet, so that we know if any bugs and blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Um, it's all a bit cool, a bit funky, a bit interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get into the game. Cool, we got ourselves this funky looking centaur. I got the cool little horn. I think Alkimo gave me that. And then Timo gave it to me as well. And now I have two of them and I don't even want one of them. But anyway, <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and see what's in the store. After Burner, dealing damaging abilities cause the enemy to burn for 180 plus 1.75 times your intelligence magic damage over five seconds. Okay, so it's intelligence based, but it's actually kind of nice for us, I think, because we like retaliate a lot, right? Um, unyielding skull gives status resistance. Okay, first, let's let's go ahead and uh, pick up some bracers. Let's pick up a tangle and make our way into the bottom lane, I suppose. And then we're gonna kind of continue having a look. What is this? Majum. Casting an ability causes your next attack to do 60 bonus damage. Okay. Magical Banana grants 9 mana region and 16 health region for 8 seconds. That seems really good, actually. The battle begins. It's a bit more expensive than a Tangle. Ah, but you only get one of them, right? That actually seems like a really nice item, though. What is this? Orb of Contagion. Damaging abilities cause the enemy to burn for 30 magic damage over 3 seconds. Oh! Define damaging abilities. Does does retaliate count? Yes. Does retaliate? Please. Please retaliate count. That would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. I'm gonna have all of these like ability yes. ability damage triggers additional damage stuff. Because that way I can like you know, I can just get hit. I can just get hit. And then they die. That's my plan. We'll see if that's a good plan, but that's my plan. Okay. Go ahead and get Retaliate, and we'll get the Double Edge. And uh, then we'll go from there. Can I have your opinion on something? I, it's about the Dota History YouTube channel. Because I'm currently thinking about uh, kind of branding and, uh, you know, like how how do we all position it so that, that it looks cool and professional and nice and people will actually want to watch it. Because I'm not going to upload it here. It's going to be a separate channel, right? And I am thinking about like, well, what name should that channel have? What name should it have? Because, you know, I could call it something like Dota History. But that's not really interesting, right? I could come up with like a completely new brand name. I don't know, I don't know what that would be, but we could do that. Or, uh, my current idea, this is my current plan, is to just name it after my real life name. So just name it Philip Baumgart, that's my name, right? And that way it would be still me, but it would be a bit more professional. And that's kind of the intent there. But I don't really know. So I, I was just kind of curious if anybody has any opinions on that. Hit me, do it, hit me. Cause like it works. When I get hit, they get a, uh, they get affected by the poison. That is so brutal. It is so difficult to fight into that. Let me get a vanguard. Let me let me wait. That's not a vanguard. Let me get a vanguard. There you go. All right. Dota Chronicles and Dota lore, but it's not lore. Right? Hindsight, like true sight. That's actually funny. I like it. <laughs> I like it. That's actually kind of cute. Now, my current idea is to just go with my name. That way, it's still kind of me and it's still, you know, it's still sort of my brand, but also it's a bit more professional. And I think that sounds all right, but eh, well, I'm also like open to other ideas, right? I am open to other ideas. And that's kind of why I thought I could ask you all, see if you all have any opinions, see if you all have any... Uh, any ideas that you think are particularly good that, that could work? And even if they're not good, like, it's fine. Like, if what you have is 50 writing prompts that you're gonna yeet into the comments, then sure, why not? Fuck it, you know, live your life, 
And a worst case scenario, I'll just ignore you. <laughs> so history of the ancients. That's actually not bad. I like that as well. Like, I think that's a cool name. The problem with it again to me is that it's kind of impersonal. And YouTube really, really likes like more personal stuff, right? Like YouTube as a platform. What does well on there is just kind of things that are a bit more, you know, like personal, I guess. I mean, I keep repeating it, but but that's just what it is. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Damn it. All right, let me get the Vanguard. This item is amazing. Right? Like, it's incredible. This is doing so good. Absolutely crushing them right now. Because they just take so much damage. And there you go. We have a Vanguard. I don't think I'm gonna die, but I might. Ooh. What's this? What? What's this? What's this? Am I supposed to be in it or out of it? <laughs> What should I do? <laughs> Is it good? Is it bad? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna go and buy Boots of Speed now. Alright, let's have a look around. What's this? Obsidian Pauldrons. Gain up to 50% movement speed for over 8 seconds. Upon colliding with an enemy unit, Slow all nearby enemies by 10 to 60% for 1.8 seconds and deal 20 to 120 physical damage to them. And the effect is increased over time. So that actually seems pretty good on Centaur. It could be like a blink dagger replacement, right? Like I can use that to charge in. Look, my goal is to use as many of the new items as possible. So I'm, I'm going to go for that because that seems usable on the Centaur. And that's going to have to be good enough. Also a bunch of armor, which is actually pretty good. What's that? Formic Hood. It's magic resistance. Switch between 7 extra armor and 10% extra magic resistance. That's actually kind of nice. What is this? Sanctifier. Increases, decreases the target's agility. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Give me strength shit. Nah, that's not strength. That's agility. That's not strength. Unyielding score. That's a bunch of strength. I think I want this afterburner. Ooh, yeah, we're dead. Techie's coming in with the big bombs. What if I get this now? I mean, I'm not that smart. We could get Plight bur Plightbringer. Damaging abilities cause enemies to be marked. After attacking a marked enemy, it will consume the mark, dealing 100 plus 0 0.4 times your intelligence. Casting an ability causes your next attack to do bonus damage. Hmm. Weak pointer. Target enemy has the status resistance reduced. Vicarious soul. Bind yourself with an allied hero. Alright, alright. That doesn't seem immediately all that useful. Also, I'm kind of taking some damage, which isn't good. Gotta be careful here. Hello, Mr. Chen. Do I come in? I think so. Oh, there's a techie though, which is bad. That is indeed not ideal. Should be a kill on the Chen. I'm guessing. Hello, friend. Hit me. Yes. Um, hmm. Although I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. It gives me some strength. Give me more strength? Nah. What is this banner thing? Ah, Warding Banner. Places a banner that gives 5 health region, mana region, armor, and 5% magic resistance. Okay, so that's like a smaller item. It does actually seem kind of handy, but it, it is also a bit smaller. I only go for big items. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy this, the Obsidian Pauldrons. And the Unyielding Skull is probably not a bad idea. And then we just get an afterburner as well. I think we definitely get the afterburner. We'll, we'll do so much damage. We'll do so much damage. What do you have? Ah, that is the weak pointer. So I have my status resistance reduced. Well, can't say I appreciate that. Can't say that that's great. 
Okay. <clears throat> Adjus for the name. You re you revealed you stole the Adjus. No, I did not steal the Adjus. I feel like I've 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 really been very clear about this that I did not steal the Adjus. I couldn't have. The Adjus was in Singapore. It, it wasn't possible for me to steal the Adjus. I definitely, under no circumstances, stole the Adjus, replaced it with a replica, and then put the replica back to where they thought they left it originally, so that they think they got it back. I would never do that. There you go. I kind of like this item. You can't come in trampling big time. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, run, run, run. Hmm. Okay, we're building up speed. Oh no, there's a tiny coming in now. Alright, never mind. Never mind. We're dipping this. We're leaving this alone. That's fine. It's fine. So what do I need to build for this? It's... Oh, it builds out of my Orb of Contagion. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that kind of makes sense. Hey, Esther Dr. Farris, thanks for the 42 months. Sorry, I was just in the middle of a fight. Appreciate it. We'll have a look at that later, okay? Nothing here. If we're targeting the audience that already watched Barmin and going to Barmin name Richard Walker. Oh, no, no, no. The idea is that this is supposed to even target people that don't play Dota at all. Which, admittedly, that's not that different from my normal audience. <laughs> But no, 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 this is very much supposed to, like, reach outside of it. If all it does is get the viewership I get on my regular channel, then it's not actually, like, financial, financially viable. So we gotta do a bit better than that. Ooh, hello, Mr. Techies. Well, I have this, which gives me some movement speed. Look at that. It's kind of like running along here. That's pretty nice. I should maybe go back sometime. But... Eh. Eh. It's okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. Let's get the afterburner and then go back. Maybe. Eventually. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Activate our obsidian pauldrons again. Building up movement speed. And that's a kill. Some distance. We're all good. We're all good. We have a viper. I don't know if anybody else is coming in. Oh, nice toss. Techies explode. Okay. Gyro now. Luckily, we do have to slow, but that missile is going to connect. Yeah, that's it. That that there's no living down. Ah, we stuck around for way too long. Way too long. Hello, I'm Dr. Balmy, and uh, it seems that unfortunately you've been diagnosed with YouTube itis. And it seems that the only cure is for you to leave a like on the video. I wish you good luck, my friend. What do you think is the most OP item in the whole of normal Dota? That's actually a really difficult question. Because, like, there's, like, a different meaning to what overpowered means. Right? Because there's, like, different ways to think about things in the game. So... For example, boots are way more like way more cost efficient than they probably should be. Like for what they provide, they are really really cheap. And generally speaking, when you are talking about something being balanced or not balanced, what you want is you want it to fit into the power curve. And the power curve being kind of like okay, if something costs X, then it should be Y power. And if something costs 2X, then it should probably be 2Y power. Does that kind of make sense? Right? Or, you know, to, at least in that 
logic, right? Like there should be like a sort of like curve to it on how things scale. But some, th some things are just blatantly outside of that curve. So that would be things like, for example, Magic Wand, or Boots, or Blink Dagger, or Black King Bar, Town Portal Scrolls, Wards. I mean, Wards are literally free, and they are one of the most powerful items in the game. Like, that doesn't really make a lot of sense if we're looking at it from a power curve perspective, right? So if we're looking at it through that lens, then they are overpowered. However, those items are kind of explicitly excluded from the power curve perspective because we are supposed to just think of them as like a sort of you know like natural factor of the game where they are supposed to be more powerful than other stuff because they make the game more fun like boots make the early game more exciting and magic one makes it so that you can fight a bit better in the early game as well bkb is what is required for the game to function right like without bkb dota doesn't work as a whole you can't nerf bkb for it to be balanced because as soon as you do that it stops like dota just stops working you know so you kind of have to ask yourself okay well are we excluding or including those items because if we're including them then it's probably magic wand or bkb right like those are the two best items in dota i feel like I feel like it's hard to debate with that. But if we're excluding that, if we're, if we're excluding those things, I mean, only looking at the things that are a bit more open to interpretation, right? For example, Vanguard is an item that just kind of gets balanced. You want it to be on the power curve. You want Hard, you want Satanic, you want Skadi, you want Saint Yasha, you want all of those items to be on the power curve. If that's what we're looking at instead, then I think the best item in Dota is probably something like uh, that's probably the the stupid item, right? What is it called again? I forgot about. I forgot the name. Oh dear! It's the stupid item, Wraith Pack. There you go. It's probably Wraith Pack. It's probably Wraith Pack. Um, but yeah, maybe I should buy a Formic Hood first. That way I can get some magic resistance. Because I feel like that's what we really need. I have a ton of armor. I'm, I'm fine on armor. But some magic resistance would be really good to have. Neutral items? Oh yeah, mirror shield. That's kind of like an interesting one. Like, would neutral items count into the most overpowered discussion? Right? Does refresher orb count? Because, like, Refresher Orb is blatantly broken, right? Like, it's an insane item. The fact that it exists is kind of wild. But Refresher Orb isn't good by itself. If all you have in your inventory is a Refresher Orb, then it doesn't do anything, right? Then, it's, then that's kind of pointless. But if you have a Refresher Orb and, let's say, a BKB, all of a sudden the things change. But then again, the question is, is that the power of the Refresher Orb, or is that the BKB? BKB and those kind of, like, those kinds of things really complicate the idea of balance. And we talked about this not too long ago, ago when we were talking about Ability Arena, right? Where I was saying that, like, the Aghanim character shouldn't just be nerfed, because I think the Aghanim character is good for the game. And instead of just nerfing him, it would probably be better to adjust the game to kind of fit his environment, because that would make for a more fun experience. What? What? What was... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for magic resistance. I have uh, magic resistance now. There was a weird sound effect. I'm... I don't know what that was. Did you guys hear it? Was that just me? Am I going crazy? Okay. Anyway. It's the warding mana. That, it makes that kind of sound effect. We're getting crushed a little bit, aren't we? Alright. And we didn't know that the Lice Dealer was coming in. So maybe it would have been a good idea... 
kind of like, you know, save our abilities for that. Nice Dita has the Whittler. What does this do? Attacking an enemy reduces their armor. Um, for by one. And you can... Uh, oh, so it's like a Fury Swipe store style Desolator. Oh dear. Oh dear, that Life Stealer. Holy shit. Okay, hmm. That is all quite scary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we do about this now? It's definitely a problem. My damage return, I think my retaliate is just not really enough. My hero doesn't have that much in, so this doesn't really do that much damage. <laughs> hey, King of Kings, thanks for the three months. Okay. Good kill. Cool cat. Good kill, good kill. All right, we're taking we're taking some hits. Ooh. I am still alive. So, that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Pick up a Reba. We're chilling. Oh, look at that. Time for a comeback. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right. Nice. <gasps> Has our time come? Okay. Let's go get him. Nice. <gasps> See, we can do it. It is possible. Very good. Very good. Hey, Wiggle Card! Thanks for the 53 months. Good to see you still wiggling along. So I have an unyielding skull now. I actually have a ton of armor. <laughs> I am absolutely stacked if it comes to armor. Okay, gains retaliate aura. There's a certain aspect to kind of like balance that I personally would describe as balance design, right? But it's not so much just about making sure everything fits the curve, but sometimes the game is just more fun if something is a little overpowered, right? Sometimes a game can benefit from maybe not being perfectly balanced. And I know that may seem a little weird, but I'm sure if you think about it, you will be able to come up with an example of it yourself. Right? If you just think about it for a little bit, you'll be able... Oh, you know what? Now that you say it, like, here's a game. There you go. What do I buy? Is there another, like, fancy new item? I could get, like, the Whittler? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a little sad there's no, like, heart style item. Sanctifier. Nah, that's like agility again. There's lots of agility stuff, but nothing nothing for my strength heroes. Oh, what is this? Ruthless dagger. No. That's not really that useful. I guess I just buy, like, an assault cross, right? I guess I just buy an assault cross. There you go. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, there's the life stealer. Who's definitely absolutely terrifying. But we do have Tusk now, who can virus punch right through him. Okay. I'm coming in. I gotta deal with this, if you don't mind. Very good. Come here. Yeah. 
Nice! Hello, techies. Deal damage to me, why don't you? You just try it. You just try it! <laughs> you can't hurt me. Nothing can hurt me. I'm unhurtable. I'm actually really tanky. I think I, I get rid of boots. I kind of like this. I think this kind of works as boots. Look at that. Look at how much movement speed I get. Alright, like, fuck this. And then I can buy a hot. Yeah! I mean, I'm centaur. I feel like I gotta have a heart. If I don't have a heart, a centaur, then. Where's the soul, then? Right? That doesn't work. Mm -mm. The complete lack of fey cages makes me really sad. It's been two days making that. No one wants to pet a frog. What's the fey cage? I, I have no idea what it is, but I have just bought it. I am sorry for not buying the fey cage before. Okay, what does it do? Summons a pet unit that will follow you around for 30 seconds, granting a random buff to nearby allies. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's that's really cute. Okay, let's let's summon ourselves a fey cage. I honestly, I have to admit, I didn't even see it. Death Jade. Oh no, we looked at that. Okay, fey cage. Wait, that's not a frog. What is this? Oh, I need to have it equipped. Okay. I guess I'm unequipping my afterburner. It's not that useful, I think, so... That's okay. Good! Yeah, the Tusk is really doing a ton of work. Alright, I'm coming in. Hmm. Hello. Good. And there we go. Mega kill streak. Alright. I'm, I'm summoning a dude. I have summoned a fae. Who will help us. I got a little frog. What does it do? I <laughs> get one mana each. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that's that's excellent. I, I appreciate the one mana region. That's exactly what I needed. I wonder what else I can get. This is very cute. I love it. Oh, I got him again. Okay. I only wish it was a little better. Everybody should buy a fake cage. Dude, if we have all of us have fake cage, we stack the auras. We become invincible. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to unequip this for a moment if that's okay. All right. There we go. Ah, I didn't quite hit that stun. Alright, we activate this. Ooh. Ooh, the gyrocopter. The gyrocopter. Actually, what is Faye? A small critter? Um, well, in... I don't know exactly in how many, like... I guess, fantasies they exist. But generally, there is this idea of... Um, Fae being kind of like fairies and, um, shit, what else? <laughs> like little elves, like these kind of like mystical, magical little critters. And um, they tend to oftentimes be portrayed as a bit mischievous and also maybe a little deadly. Um, and they will just kind of enchant you and then whisk you away and um, kill you and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what did we get? I've got a pig! Plus one strength. Let's go! Sorry, I'm gonna get rid of this. It's just it's just kind of like a, too late for it. I, I gotta get this Aghanims here. This is very important. Creatures born from magic. Yeah, creatures born from magic. Generally, the rule is you shouldn't trust any fae. You shouldn't trust them. They're all bad, they're all evil. If you trust a fae, you, you just, you're gonna, gonna gamble your life away. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. Follow, follow me, friends. Look, I give us an aura that makes it so all of you deal retaliate damage, right? 
And then my afterburner, every time one of you takes damage, applies afterburner to them. So they all take magic damage constantly. I'm just like fucking wrecking them just from existing. Hey, Miracle Man, thanks for the 26 months. Appreciate it. So fake grenade is made of fairy ashes as explosive power. I think the idea of the fake grenade isn't that it's a grenade made of fey, but a grenade made by fey. At least that was always my understanding. Because again, it's it's something that isn't like actively dangerous, but it's just like a little mischievous and it's a little a little funky and a little a little spooky, but it's not like actively going to kill you spooky. It's just, you know, probably still going to lead to your death kind of spooky. Oh shit. Ah, you gotta time this really closely. That didn't work. Well, I mean we didn't have the entire team. That's really the problem. But I don't actually know, like, I think Fey Grenade is removed, right? It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dota does like to pull from all kinds of, like, folklore and, like, fantasy stories. Dota's full of those kinds of little references. You know, like, for example, the Octarine Core, which is, of course, based on a Terry Pratchett book. Or the Discworld novels by Terry Pratchett, right? In which there is Octarine, the color of magic, which can only be seen by wizards and, wanna have a guess what else? That's right, cats. <laughs> okay. I'm coming in. We're trampling our way up there. I gotta protect my tusk. I guess, I guess we're fine. I guess we're fine. All right, Tusk, stay near me. I can cart you. And then you will be safe. You will be perfectly protected if I'm carting you around. <clears throat> I mean, the classic example of this is always that Lina, of course, is based on an anime. Where I, I think the anime or the manga, I read the manga a little bit, uh, it's called Slayers. And in there is Lena the Slayer. And honestly, it's terrible. I have no idea. I, it's embarrassing. I have no idea why that is something that anybody would base anything on. <laughs> it's so bad. I genuinely don't get it. Alright, come here, Gremlin. No, no, I just, I want to pick you. Fuck. Dude, stay near me. You know, if I just pick you up, you can just swing at them. But if you if you run away from me, how can I pick you up? All right, it doesn't don't work. It doesn't work. It's kind of wild that they can kill me. Look at how tanky I am. I'm huge. Are we looking on neutral items? Maybe there's a better one there. Oh, Blast Rig. Okay, I've got a missile coming at me. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Oh, I guess we blocked that. I don't know. I kind of expected that to be like a little more visually impactful. Yes! Let's go, Viper! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> I saved them with my card. Alright, punch him. Punch him. Punch him. Very good. Very good. Now, I do want to make clear, I understand that the blink dagger will be way better than this, but I'm sticking to it. Hey, we have all of these custom items. We gotta use them, right? I feel like that's the whole point. <laughs> Take this. Thank you very much. And then we'll go into the top here. <clears throat> you take 2.5 times the damage that is reduced from them. The increase is because always the natural region from the item basing makes the redirection pointless. 
So it's just a free 12% damage reduction for someone? No, I still take the damage, right? I still increase the damage we take as a team. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is potentially bad. But also we are fine. No, the Tuskies! Fuck! Alright, I'm saving... Oh, I couldn't. I'm sorry, I'm, sh I'm just still stunned. I'm saving the Mars. I'm saving the Mars. Go get him, Mars! Go get him! <laughs> the Tusk is ab absolutely just my personal nightmare. Right, but with this item, I take 12%. I, I, I take 12% of the damage. They would take at uh, 2.5 times the rate. So I take 30% damage, basically, of the full damage. Okay. Here you go, friend. Look at this! Look at how fucking sick this is! I can just attack something! Attack some- Oh my god. I'm sorry, friends. I am getting tilted by this task. I am getting tilted. <laughs> Alright, just, just virus punch. Oh. There you go. No, I respect that the Tusk doesn't get the, doesn't get the Divine. Just get a bunch of other stuff. But look, it worked. This is the best ability. 10 out of 10. God tier spell. Alright, well, we'll kind of, like, make our way into their base and maybe kill them. I mean, we'll see. Some of, I mean, honestly, I'm very impressed with us for just even still being in this game, right? The fact that we didn't die earlier, I think, is kind of sick. Okay. Who do I protect? The Tusk. There you go. Just attack. Just attack. Just, just attack? Just, just, you gotta attack, dude. You gotta attack. Okay. Well, we tried. And... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Activate this so we can build up some speed. I'm here. I don't know if it's in... I gotta go raid, raid out the rage. Yeah, okay. Now nah, they got me. They got me. They got me. They locked me down. <clears throat> Imagine Melee Hero at HR right buff at all times. Dude, I, I wish the Agon and Scepters were funky like that. I recently found my all time favorite Agon and Scepter upgrade, at least out of all the ones I'm aware of. In, I believe, 5.40, Techie's Aghanim Scepter made Suicide Squad attack deal 5,000 damage. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> this, is, this is not an exaggeration. It just, it just did 5,000 damage. Which I think is great. I mean, like, I, I don't know why we don't have more abilities that deal 5,000 damage, frankly. Oh, I want to die. Alright, uh, let me get this bad boy for what it's worth. I really feel like this afterburner is my worst item. Can I get rid of it? Like, I feel like the afterburner is just not very helpful. If I had a BKB or something else instead, it would probably be better. Or like an overwhelming blink. Hmm. Abyssal Blade. You know, that kind of stuff. Plight Hammer. Pooh. Do I have to attack the target enemy or does somebody else have to attack the target enemy? 
Because if somebody else can attack it, that might actually be pretty good. The Plight Bringer here. So that's attacking a marked... So damaging abilities cause enemies to become marked, and attacking a marked enemy will consume the mark, dealing damage. And then again, bonus spell up. I have to attack them. Oh, that's... That's much worse. That's much worse than... <laughs> I'm uh, keeping my afterburner, I guess. Yeah, I really feel like it doesn't add anything, but at least it's some half-decent stats. They're not incredible or anything, but it was not terrible. I do like this one. It's just kind of a funny little item, you know? Of course, the uh, Fey Cage is by far the best item. But it's it's suffering a little bit from being, I think... A tad weak. Uh, it's just like one mana region or one strength. Even for only 900 gold is not actually that much. Like that's not really enough to be worth the pickup. Alright. Did I protect this dude? I protect this dude. Look! I got you friend! Just beat him up! Just beat him up now! Just kill him! Look at that! We're good! Oh, the buyback. Hmm. Alright, we're drumming. We're drumming. Okay, got that hit. Some status resistance. Oh, we're hanging in there. There's a divine on the floor. Okay, I don't have my thing ready. Even though I would love to use it. Okay, there's a bunch of buybacks. Ooh. Okay, Tiny. Okay, big BKBs. Should just make a late game upgrade for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make it like major fey. Well, we got megas. I mean, that should be. That's kind of a win, right? That does something. I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of it. What do we buy? I think I'm getting like an overwhelming blink. Overwhelming blink is just such a good item on our hero. It feels silly to not have one. <laughs> so there's a life stealer in there, right? Yeah, all right. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're still chilling. Oh. Nice BKB there. But not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Keep moving. Hey, Ecstasy. We be nice, okay? I'm playing with the new stuff. It's worth keeping in mind that Dota covers a lot of its bases already. There isn't actually really that much you can do in terms of adding new items into Dota. Because what's missing? Dota has so many fucking items. So pretty much everything will be a repetition of something else. It's kind of unavoidable at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it, I think. Oh, I'm disarmed. Maybe I won't end it. Ooh. Mars, can he do it? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> so close.
Ooh. I, I did try to protect you. But it wasn't meant to be. No way. Alright. Wait, it's just us? It's just us. Shit. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, come on, man. How did that even happen? I feel like we were so close to winning. Damn. All right. All right. Well, that was still a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.